Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November uh, 12th to November 18th, 2018 And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Gemini Star Sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, uh, in this video, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And also, as the Christmas celebrations are... Um, coming around, they are looming from the horizon. Uh, there is a Christmas sale going on uh, which concerns the 20 minutes service and everybody who purchased 20 minutes uh, live tarot reading they get additional a um, <clears throat> one recorded answer to a question service for free and they may ask their question anytime they want. So uh, that being said this is uh, the general Weekly spread and the first card for Gemini, which marks their topic of the week, is to be the High Priestess. So, fairly peaceful uh, week for Gemini. Now, the High Priestess doesn't have, doesn't uh, incorporate really much of a movement. What the High Priestess is all about is the inner wisdom and inner knowledge, and that doesn't really mean much. Uh, when it comes to material manifestation of the card. Yeah, you may be a little bit more sensitive throughout the week. I mean sensitive in the sense that you may start sense stuff. You may uh, reach to a certain conclusion how things work as well. This week is going to be uh, very potent for those who are trying to really reach the root of their problems. I mean, for example, why my relationship isn't working out or why I cannot take off into my career. Um, you know, how I can improve myself, uh, how I could, uh, you know, advance with that project and etc. etc. Now, if you search a specific answers, those answers are to be given to you by you uh, drawing from uh, from your inner wisdom. Let's say that you do have the answers. It is just you uh, at the start of this week. You are may not you may not be ready to comprehend on them, and throughout the week that process is to be complete, and you are to kind of reach the answers you seek. But on a more practical level, the high priestess means that um, your relationship is likely to start improving throughout the week as you are to sense what your partner needs and however should you give what your partner needs or not, that is going to be entirely your choice but you will know what your relationship will require in order to improve and career-wise this uh, this card represents the, um, the humble and the resigned um, performance there, you know, um, not being agitated nor excited of what is going on with, uh, with your work in general. So the work is going to be just as it is uh, <clears throat> supposed to be. The core of the situation, uh, that, that will be the Four of Cups and uh, this is due to the fact, now the Four of Cups may manifest in this specific follow-up in many ways but uh, in ma the majority of the ways is that this card represents the collection of one's, uh, of one's labor. So let's say that you have reached a certain milestone here uh, while back in the past and now you're still in this specific milestone career or relationship wise no wanting to move because this milestone is the milestone that makes you comfortable. But what this card points that the, uh, the realization you know that sitting on one place only makes you uh, stagnated it's the virtue it is what is going to make you uh, is what is going to make you seek the answers you need here how you can improve forward now you need to know that the four of cups does not mean really boredom does not mean really being despondent and does not mean that you you really have no way to, uh, no way moving forward or nowhere to go it means that you are into this position 
because you know some, some, somehow you're finding yourself in a good place uh, when you compare it with what could have been all right but in the same time it will be important for you Gemini's to think of how you can uh, kind of throw yourself off this comfort zone because this comfort zone it is what is going to block your future um, progress if I may express myself that way and not that your future progress is blocked right now but you really need to think of a, a new ways how you can expand your arsenal like with capabilities services for example if you are running a private business or in generally uh, uh, an amusing enterprises if we are talking about one's one relationship the next card that we do have this is the challenges which are causing predicaments here that is to be the tree of cups <clears throat> and as we talked about the uh, the steady routine you know that it is going on uh, this is to be the challenge here to see anything anything different than what it is than what has been in the previous week so the tree of uh, the tree of cups represents you know the very first uh, the very first manifestation of one's uh, efforts and of one's um, labor but as we saw that recently you didn't you didn't incorporate anything new into your career or into your relationship that is to be the challenge here to see some improvement also uh, as a challenge may come that you uh, your socializing skills in a sense of that you may not see a reason why you should take um, advices from a specific people into your social circle or specific uh, you know, co-workers at your, uh, at your career as well, uh, because you are going to find it very difficult to expand your vision upon their advices or upon, um, upon their testimonies, testimonials uh, for that matter. The Three of Cups, it is a very, um, it is a, a very playful card in the sense of that if you are open-minded when you contribute into the um, mutual experience here into the collective experience you are to expand your vision but uh, as I said this is to be a challenge and you may not see their points of view this is what I'm trying to say here very dangerous when it comes to a relationship even though you know what your partner needs you may not see the reason behind it you may not see uh, <clears throat> uh, you it, it may not make any sense for you all right and that could kind of cause cracks or even blockages into uh, into one relationship further down the road although throughout this week your relationship is likely to improve but because it's going to improve based on a, a previous actions that you have done not in the actions that you are to exert throughout this week the actions that you are to exert throughout this week are entirely upon your choosing and of your liking and one more thing to be said here with the three of cups is that you are going to find it very challenging to express yourself emotionally to say uh, what what makes you um, what makes you ill in a sense of that if there is something that you really dislike you may find it more uh, more profitable for yourself or I'd say more um, reasonable to keep it into a silent treatment rather than to express it and this is going to make people uh, very difficult to realize you know how they can please you and how they can get in touch with you you know to get closer to you and that is very uh, disadvantageable if you are searching for a, a relationship here you are single the next card that we do have this is to be the best course of action that we do have the emperor first thing that the emperor says is that um, <clears throat> you need to uh, scope all of your surroundings all of your comfort zone for that matter you need to organize it in a, a very specific way organize it in a sense that in a sense of that you need to start ruling upon it it's very difficult to explain but when we talk about the emperor as an intentions means to establish and regain control back upon the fields that you have left to just 
uh, run on their own accord, if I may, uh, if I may express myself that way. The emperor also points that you should start taking bigger responsibilities. Bigger responsibilities are to throw you off your comfort zone, as these cards are severe enemies to one another. If you follow the emperor, you are to overcome here the stoic behavior of the four of cups and you are to find new amusements because by organizing your daily routine you know and by uh, by establishing control upon your undertaking you are also to find much more free time for yourself and as you do have more free time for yourself you are to find a new enterprises and new amusing undertakings that you can contribute to which are again to uh, <coughs> invite a new um, wave of exhilaration in your uh, in your daily routine so that was the weekly tarot reading now let's uh, shuffle the Lenormand cards and let's see what they are to show us now the Lenormand cards are uh, to show us a event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid for that matter so let's see what we got now the first card that we do have, this is the dog, and the dog stands for loyal companion, loyalty in, gen in general, a good friend. Then we do have the, uh, the tree, now the tree stands for longevity, uh, roots, and as well for health. And the last one, this is to be the rider, and the rider stands for news or uh, for new initiation. Now these cards rather speaks for uh, more about health than anything else. I don't like to uh, talk about health, but for what it seems, um, <clears throat> these cards are pointing that your health is to improve. Again, I don't like to speak about health. I'm just saying what these cards are pointing. Now it's go. It, it would have been very bad if. Here we do have the uh, the sickle, or around here we do have the coffin, you know. But fortunately for you, Gemini's, we do have only a um, um, a positive card, if I may say that way. Or also these cards, as an event, may represent a commitment with a friend, uh, which is a long-term commitment that is going to be initiated throughout this particular week which commitment with a friend of yours if you overcome your uh, your resistance of socializing is to throw you off your comfort zone and is to make you um, how can I say is to make you uh, experience new enterprises and in general you know new amusing um, events as well so that being said Gemini's this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for November 12th to November 18 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again uh, this was just a, a general reading for Gemini star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore uh, I did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!